We're following one of the contact tracing teams in Istanbul. We just met up with them. They are out there every single day trying to put together the clues, connect the dots as to how the virus is spreading. And Turkey is crediting a lot of its success against coronavirus to the fact that it is able to very aggressively contact trace. There are about 6,000 teams countrywide, and they are just constantly out. Uh, they're asking about her medical history. Uh, so she has um, hypertension. She's been complaining of a runny nose. Her son has been in touch, come into contact with someone who has previously tested positive. They're about to take a sample to swab. It takes about a maximum of 24 hours for the results to come back. And if she ends up testing positive, then that is the jump off point for another contact tracing round to take place. What they're doing right now is actually registering her son into their internal system. It's an app that allows them to track everyone who needs to be quarantined and others as well. Because it is the son who is actually in touch with someone who is COVID positive, he may or may not have been the one who passed it on to his mother. But either way, he now has to stay quarantined for 14 days. And if people break their quarantine, the consequences can be quite severe, ranging from paying a fine or even doing prison time. As of the first day, Turkey had already a pandemic plan within the system from past pandemics. So we were always ready. We took the plan off the shelf, put it into action, and alerted all of our contact tracing units. So we didn't lose time to plan a response or to say, what should hospitals do during this disaster? So this is the operation room, and they have, people are speaking Turkish and Arabic, so he right now is actually on the phone with somebody, uh, trying to get their history as to where they have been and who they've been in contact with. What Dr. Aslan is telling us is that they have to rely on people to be honest, because if they don't have accurate information, then they can go in the wrong direction. And everyone here is aware that their success against COVID-19 is what hangs in the balance.